I love baseball. This is this is my sport. I mean, he has all the tools. At that young age, he goes beyond that. The things he do, you're not gonna see a lot of kids doing it right now. The kids is unbelievable. Desde que Manuel estaba tenía un año, dos años, nosotros tenemos video el bateando. A lot of young kids, you know, there's just most of them, you know, learning to hit and all that, you know, and, and he's learning the strategy of the game where a lot of kids don't learn until they get 15 or 16. I like to play. I like to like feel that moment and all that stuff. I like to feel it. I remember I went with him on his birthday and I asked him, what are you doing here? Go, go to Disney. And he's like, Disney, what do you mean? I want to play baseball. I want to play in the big leagues. I'm Emmanuel Beltre. I'm 12 years old and I play shortstop. So we're gonna start by doing three rounds of tea. One, one hand, then the other hand. Then we're gonna do two rounds of regular on the tee. After that, we're gonna hop in front us. We're gonna do two rounds of six. Step it around. I'm just trying to keep it like, keep this hand, the front hand, like inside. Uh -huh. This one is for power. Oh. You know, power. Okay. You gotta hit Good. bombs, kid. Like I tell you, bombs away. I like baseball since like, I could say they won. Um, when I was nine years old, I started getting like baseball series and all that stuff. I started like practicing more, maintaining my body, like the stuff I gotta eat and all that stuff, go to the gym. That's something that you have to make sacrifices at young age, you know what I mean? Yo jugaba baseball desde temprana edad en República Dominicana. Desde pequeño lo llevaba al play, lo practicaba. Yo empecé a ver que sí él tenía talento desde los cinco años. Since I was three years old, I just watch my brother every time he plays, and I'm just trying to be like him every day. He's my, like, my role model, I could say. Exactly what I'm working in. Trying to keep balance my body. Trying to keep it balanced. Because if you see, when I finish my swing, I just try to keep it like that. I work with a lot of 12 year old, and because he wanted so bad, he make a phone for me, you know? This kid, he's, he's, he's here, and you don't have to fight with him to do stuff. He's, he's willing to pull the work. I, I believe that there's a type of workout you can do with 12 year old that's gonna get them ready, so. You just gotta do it the right way. For kids like him, it's all about development. You know, you wanna make sure that whenever this kid's 14, he's in another level and he keep his path the way he is right now. You know, he's he's 12 and he can play with 15 year old right now. Eh, cuando empezamos a darle práctica en la liga que él jugaba, jugaba con niños de mayor edad y él aún teniendo menos edad se podía destacar. Entonces ahí empezamos a ver las cualidades que él tenía y ahí fue cuando decidimos. Well, you know, you, you take a player, especially at that age, you know, there's just most of them, you know, learning to hit and all that, you know, and, and he's learning the strategy of the game where a lot of kids don't learn until they get 15 or 16. I play up every time since I was three years old. I played with a five years old guy. So I like now in this age, you can just go down and put 13 years old or 27 and it's a hard competition because you're playing with 13 years old guys in 50, 70, and it's hard, it's hard. They fastball, they throw, they throw like 78, and the most part, people say it's not, but it's hard. See, see, bring your leg bring your leg bring your leg bring your leg Come on, more movement with your arm, let's go. Come on, come on, pop, pop, pop. Switch. Boom, 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 boom. Switch, good, out of boy. Rest. I start, I start 11 years old in the gym. I look at my body and I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm Jack. <laughs> and my teammate is always like, bro, you Jack. You gotta make sure that whenever the kid's getting older, he's getting strong as well. So it's not just the kid's getting older and he's staying the same level. So 
we, we incorporate routine from him. Not with a lot of weights, but more bench workout and a lot of agility stuff where his body's just getting strong naturally by the workouts and by the way he's eating too as well. He don't use a lot of like heavy weights with us. It's gonna be more 10 pound weights, five pound weights, just to get his little muscles stronger. That's, that's what we're looking to do with him. And then when he's 14, 15, that's when we're gonna get him after him, like really hard with the weights. A kid like Bertrand, you gotta challenge him. You gotta make sure you, you, you make it hard for him. Cause he make everything look like it's easy. And baseball is not easy at all, but for him, it's a natural gift. And you gotta make sure you challenge the kid so he can grow. Why you have so much fun, man? Because. You, you enjoy this right here? Yeah, I have to. I love it. If you don't love what you're doing, just quit. I started working with Fortuna since I was like nine years old. I hear about him and all that stuff. You don't feel like you have pain because he's always smiling and smiling and all that stuff and loud. He's motivates me to like work, keep working hard every day. If I had 10 kids, not, not, you know, not that hits like home or throws like home, but 10 kids that had the same approach as him, you know, I'll, I'll, I mean, 10, even 10 average players, you know, I don't think I'd ever lose. So I think he's going to be the best shortstop top on his class. Um, that's what I see. And then I think he got a big chance to be in the big league and to be one, one, one good big league, not just like a guy that's going to be there and is going to be average. I think he can be an all-star. My memory bench is like nobody's going to, like, criticize me. I'm trying to prove people wrong that I could play shortstop. And practice, kids. Focus, like, of the game. Be like, if you are in the game, don't try to mess up, just focus. Just, that's the main thing, that's the main goal you have to have. Focus, take it serious, but have fun, have fun. Trying to keep balancing those two stuff, have fun and keep focusing. Bueno, el futuro solo Dios lo sabe, pero nosotros lo que nos gustaría es que con la bendición de Dios, que sea un buen ciudadano, un buen estudiante, una buena persona, que donde lo vean, eh, nosotros nos sintamos orgullosos por la persona y el niño que él es, además del pelotero.